Hi! Welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect, publish, and subscribe to MQTT or MQ Telemetry Transport Topics with your broker using MicroPython and an ESP32 or ESP8266 board. I have here my ESP32 board and my Mosquito MQTT broker running in the background. The ESP32 board will both publish and subscribe to an MQTT topic and we will use the application MQTTX to display or send MQTT messages. I will be using the Tony IDE in developing this project. So, let's start with a demo of this project. By default, our ESP32 MicroPython firmware has an MQTT library inside it called the UMQTT Simple or UMQTT Robust. So, to verify, let's just type in help and then modules. And you would notice that I have here the UMQTT Robust and UMQTT Simple. In for this video, we will be using the UMQTT Simple, so there is no need for us to install any external library inside our ESP32 firmware. The code that I am showing you here is available in my GitHub repository, which I would be sharing in the description of this video. I have here a standard boot.py, the main.py, and the main.py, where the boot.py connects to our Wi-Fi, and the main.py is where we are going to place the main logic of our program. I have here the subscriber.py and the publisher.py. So you can copy the content of both publisher or the subscriber.py in your main.py if you want to run it automatically when you reboot your ESP32 MicroPython device. But for the purpose of this video, we'll be running this file separately. We first start on how to subscribe to our MQTT topic coming from my MicroPython device. We first need to run your boot.py so that we can connect to our Wi-Fi by executing this code, which is the exact open boot.py.3. We then get assigned an IP address, which means that my ESP32 is now connected to our Wi-Fi. Next, we need to run our subscriber.py by running this code, which is exec also, and then open subscriber.py.read. And it will say that I am now connected to my MQTT broker, and it is waiting for callback functions to be called. Using MQTTX, then we will create a connection to our Mosquito broker, and then create a new subscription to the temperature topic. If you are not familiar with MQTTX, then I have a separate video on how to use this awesome tool. I'm just going to connect. So it says that I am now connected. In MQTTX, we will send a message to the temperature topic and then click send. Let's try first 32 and then let's try sending using this button then you will notice that it is able to send and our MQTTX was able to receive the value 32. If we take a look at our Tony IDE shell, then you would notice that there is a message here that says that I have received the temperature and the 32 message. The B here means that this is in bytes format. Next, let's try sending a new value like 25 then click send then you would notice that i was able to receive also the 25 in my mptt x and then at the same time in my Tony id shell i am able to receive the 25 message the message that you are seeing here called pinging mqtt broker is needed so that our mqtt broker will not disconnect us since we are only waiting for MQTT messages and not publishing anything. This will keep our connection to the MQTT broker. 
If we take a look at our Mosquito MQTT broker, then you would see that we are receiving the publish command coming from our MQTTX here, which means that the messages coming from our MQTTX was sent to our Mosquito MQTT broker and our Mosquito MQTT broker at the same time was able to send the messages to the listeners, which in this case is our ESP32 MicroPython device, which is subscribed to the temperature topic. Now, let us try how to publish MQTT messages using our ESP32 ESP8266 MicroPython device. Let us try running the publisher.py by executing below code. As you would notice, it says that I am now connected to the MQTT broker running at my IP address 192.168.100.22. And I have configured our program to send random MQTT messages every 3 seconds. If we take a look at our MQTTX application, which is here, then I'm just going to clear this one and then try reconnecting. Then you would notice that I am receiving the following messages coming in from my ESP32 MicroPython de device. I'm going to rearrange my screen so that you could see it further. So this is my MicroPython. And this is my MQTTX. And as you could see, the message that I am seeing here is also being displayed in my MQTTX application. And if we check our Mosquito MQTT terminal, then you would notice that I am receiving these messages called Receive Publish from this particular ID. And then it's sending the publish to other listeners like my MQTTX application. Would you like to know how the code works? Then let's start exploring. So, the, I'm going to first show you what really is MQTT in a nutshell. The image above is the typical MQTT setup wherein you have the MQTT broker in the middle and several clients attached or connected to it. The clients can either be the source of information or what we call as, what we call as publisher or the receiver of information or subscriber. Or they can be both a publisher and a subscriber at the same time. With the publish and subscribe model of MQTT, then we can have multiple clients that can communicate with each other without hard coding the connections between them. The MQTT broker in the middle serves as the middleman that will handle the message exchange between the sender and the its intended receivers to the concepts of topic or what we call as the subject of information like the current temperature or the lights, the value of the lights. So in this case here, if client one publishes into the topic temperature with the message of 29, then it will be received by all subscribers that subscribes to the same topic, which is temperature. In this case, client 3 and client 4 will receive the message 29. So let's try running into the code and then check what each, each line does. So the boot.py is just the standard MicroPython connection code to our Wi-Fi network. We just need to change the credentials to match with your Wi-Fi setup. Then, by just calling this do connect function, then we are able to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Now, let us go to the subscriber.py. So, in the subscriber.py, we just need to import the necessary modules and packages to communicate with our MQTT broker. And then, this part, we define the MQTT broker IP address, which at the moment is my laptop where I am running the Mosquito MQTT application. I generated 
unique client ID for my MQTT client class, and then define a topic that I want to subscribe to, which in this case is the temperature. Notice that the topic is not a string but in bytes format. And then, we are going to ping our MQTT broker every 60 seconds so that it will not disconnect our connection. This is the callback function that gets called whenever an MQTT messages arrives from our Mosquito MQTT broker. Both the topic and the message parameters are in byte format, so if you need to do any further processing, then you need to decode it. In case of an unknown exception, we will try to reset our ESP8266 ESP32 board by calling the machine.reset function. Here, in the main function, we define an MQTT client class and sets the call back to our sub underscore CB function. Next, we connect our MQTT broker and then we subscribe to the topic that we are interested in. We will use the temperature topic as the topic that we are going to subscribe. The UMQTT simple has two functions that we can use to monitor the MQTT messages coming from our broker. One is the blocking wait message, underscore wait message, and the other is the non-blocking MQTT client that check message. If you have other things to do in your program while waiting for messages coming from your broker, then use the non-blocking function. We also need to send a ping command here. So you have here the MQTT client that ping to our MQTT broker. Since we are not publishing any messages to keep our connection with our broker alive, otherwise we will be disconnected. In our case in here, I'm pinging the server, MQTT server every 60 seconds. Now the Line here is the entry point of our program. So we just wrap our main function in a try-catch block and try to reset our device in case of any error. That is how our subscriber.py is coded. Now we can go to the publisher.py part. In the publisher.py part, we just import the necessary packages and modules in order to connect to our MQTT broker. Next, we define our MQTT broker, client ID, and the topic that we will be publishing. In case of a known exception, we will try to reset our ESP8266 ESP32 MicroPython device. Now, in the main function, we create an MQTT, MQTT client class and pass in the required parameters. Then, we call the connect function in here, and then we publish to the topic temperature every three seconds. So in, in, if you see the message here, I have the random command here that generates a random number from 20 to 50. And then the same number that we are generating is the one that we're going to publish into the temperature topic. And then at the last part of the code is the entry point of our program where we'll just call the main function we just wrap it in a try-catch block also so that in case of an unknown exception, then we can try to reset our connection. That really is how you can connect, publish, and subscribe to your MQTT broker using MicroPython and your ESP8266 and ESP32 board. The companion write-up of this video contains much detailed explanation of the project. The write-up and code can be found in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!